Hi folks, Robin here. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at the Sierra Designs Flex Capacitor 4060. So let's get stuck right in. Given I've had this rucksack now for just over a year, I think it's about time I did a long-term review in it. Absolutely love it. Uh, there's not a lot I really fault in this. So I thought what I'll do is I'll give it a quick overview and share some of my thoughts on it. So first things first, it is a 40 to 60 liter capacity and you may obviously be aware it has these side straps so when these are fully compressed you obviously have a 40 liter and then if you want to expand the capacity of the pack you just simply extend it by loosening off these straps at the side and then voila your rucksack becomes a 60 liter capacity from 40 so you'll see at the front of the pack, I have this mesh pocket attached to it. This comes with the rucksack and it's sort of aimed at maybe putting your waterproofs in. You can also take this off and put it inside the rucksack. It clips in a similar manner and basically you put your water bladder in that. I don't use that for a water bladder and I don't use it for the front of the rucksack either. So I shall take this off straight away because getting rid of this will save you a few grams. And depending on which hip belt or size you get, the rucksack will weigh between 1.16 kilograms and 1.22 kilograms. So whilst it's not ultra light, it's definitely in the lightweight category. Right, so the little mesh pouch is off, I can launch that. And you can now see the front of the pack. There's no pockets on the front, as you can see. Instead, you have the strap system. I've seen some people um, comment that they don't like the pack because it doesn't come with a big mesh pouch so you do have that pocket you can attach but I don't think you actually need a pouch and I'll tell you why you've got so many straps here that when you take your waterproofs off I usually just secure the waterproofs to here if I just want to keep them handy um, so the, the big pouch at the front or the lack of I should say isn't really an issue for me you have two Ice axe loops at the bottom, these can also be used for just obviously carrying your trekking poles as well. At the top of the pack you have a lid which isn't floating because of the design of the pack and the pocket could be a bit deeper, uh, there's not a huge amount of room in there and obviously if your pack's fairly full it can be a bit difficult getting things in and out so that's a minor flaw but I think it's worth it and I'll show you why in a minute. If I swing the rucksack around, you'll see here it has padding for your shoulder blades and for the small of your back. So this essentially creates a bit of airflow and it's curved as well. Now, before ordering online, please do measure your torso up, get somebody to help you there's instructions on the Sierra Designs website on how to measure your torso, so order the right one. These pads, if you're not used to them, can feel a little bit foreign, but I find them extremely comfortable and within 10-15 minutes you won't even notice them. The straps have these nice pockets in them and I get asked all the time where did I get these and obviously I didn't, they're made with the pack and you'll see in my videos I've always got two bottles it's just so good to stay hydrated because I've not used bladders for a long time. So that is the back. Obviously you've got your handle for lifting it up off the ground. Um, one point here is obviously the little pulls on the zips. For the zip is yellow and for the main body of the rucksack is yellow as well. I keep meaning to change this up and maybe replace that to a red one just so when you're quickly getting access you can spot straight away the difference and you're not pulling one of the other lids, uh, the zips instead. So yeah, moving on now, you've got the hip pockets, which are massive. You can get lots of snacks in there. Uh, you could put, I don't know, your digital camera, a sorting loaf if you like. These are brilliant. I usually just stuff them full of snacks, to be honest. I went for the larger fitting hip belt. I wish I went in the one size down, because it looks like I'm a grey belt and cratty with these hanging about. I might actually just trim them. I should have went for the size down, so measure your waist as well. To the side of the pack, you've got the straps there for tightening or loosening, and you've got a nice wand pocket either side, which is ideal for obviously water bottles or 
camping stoves or whatever you tend to use these for. They're deep enough and they're elasticated as well so they do secure whatever you're carrying as well. So that's another good little feature is the one pockets. Unlike the Osprey ones, they don't have that gap there. Things are falling out. I know they're designed for quick access but I prefer a more enclosed pocket like that. Sierra Designs with Andrew Skurka's help designed this pack and Andrew Skurka is an experienced American long distance hiker so it's good to see that they've got somebody in to help obviously design this pack and you can see that because one of the things I like most is when you open up the main body of the rucksack I'll put cushions in here just to pump it up for the review but I'll take these out so yeah it's so quick and easy access with a, a more conventional rucksack you'll have two clips at the front you've got the draw cord then you have to pull it open with this you just zip it open and you get access to what it's like a big wide bucket if you like and there's acres of space in there honestly um i use this for the cape raft trail if you watched my series i did that over 15 days i've got all my kit in here plus five days worth of food with just a little space left over so it's perfect in my in my opinion for long distance backpacking i use it for all my weekend trips now and i find it brilliant honestly i cannot really fault this at all inside the pack you have a little mitten hook for attaching your water bladder and you've also got the two tabs here which attaches the mesh pocket for your water bladder that i showed you earlier so if you get rid of that like i said you can save a few grams <laughs> you've also got this red y-frame system and this is rigid up and down but if you go sideways you can see there it's got flex so that will help move with your body other than that there's nothing else in in the pack the y-frame is also removable Elena. the dog has just woke up hiya do you want to be in the review do you want to be in the review i bet you do hey you do have me sleepy head today right let me finish this review and then i'll take you out I promise all right all right right so pros and cons we'll start with the pros first and what i'll say is the comfort of the pack is excellent i know this is an ultra light but obviously comfort is as important as your weight if not more important so if this is comfortable i don't mind it's maybe four or five hundred grams heavier than some of the ultra light stuff because it's super comfortable these pads really work for the shoulders and the small of your back Secondly is the little water bottle holders on the strap. They just help keep you hydrated throughout the day. The hip pockets are another boon as well. They're really big. You can fit quite a lot in there from lots of snacks to cameras and phones, compasses, whatever you want to put in there. There's plenty of space. So the negatives, I don't have many actually and I always like to try and find as many as possible to make the review as honest as I can. So first of all, I would say that the lid pocket could be bigger, but obviously with the, the design, it's not a floating lid. It's sitting directly on top of your gear. Obviously, they can't have that too big. So that's maybe the trade-off, but I would have liked to have seen that a little bit bigger. Maybe a different coloured tag for pulling the zip. Now, this is my second flex capacitor, and I'll tell you why. Sierra Designs kindly sent me another one because my original one developed a very small hole at the side of the pack uh, it was tiny but obviously it would have got bigger over time they put it down to just probably just been a, a blemish and a big roll of the 100 denier material so they very kindly just swapped it out for me so that was really good of them i wouldn't score them against that because it could happen with any pack however the previous model i had i tend to find i was adjusting the pack more pulling the straps and my shoulder straps a bit more so i was maybe adjusting it a bit more often than like again it wasn't a showstopper i just maybe think the teeth that hold the straps may be quite aggressive enough i haven't noticed that with this pack so fingers crossed i have fixed that with the the more recent model here right to you so tent always goes in first that goes down the side sleeping gear holds the tent in place turn that on its side that's the sleeping gear holding that in stove goes right down the bottom in front of the tent 
insulated jacket, toiletries and flogging batteries, spare clothes, other bits and bobs, set the drone on top of that, waterproofs, put in the top. Rubbish, stuff that down the side or in the back, some motion and fuel in the side pocket, that'll get clipped on the back. A little roll mat. And then the water, that will go here, boom. That'll hold the water in place, and voila, that's us ready to roll, if you can see because of this mist it's just rolled in. Okay, to summarise on the pack, these retail at £175. If you shop around, you can sometimes find a deal. I bought mine from Valley and Peak, and I do recommend them. Their customer service is fantastic. They've always looked after me. They were great dealing with Sierra Designs Direct to get this swapped out because of the, the minor flaw in the, the previous one. Uh, they come in three colours now. This is their peat one, which is black. They also do birch, which is white. The white one looks really nice, but I think it'll get dirty too quickly. And finally, they also do the blue one, which they call bearing blue. So you've got three colour choices now. They weigh between 1.16 and 1.22 kilograms. That obviously depends on the size of the pack you get. So do remember, measure up your torso before ordering. Otherwise, that is all I've got time for. If you find this useful, please do give me the thumbs up. If you've got any comments or questions, you know where the comment section is down below. Otherwise, thanks very much, and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.